second uh, 6 8 in the evening and I've just finished going to the groceries and uh, I'm about to cook dinner and uh, as I was preparing um, dinner um, a while ago I thought of making a video how to uh, cook okay, adobo so this is really quick and I'm and I'm not going to go into uh, the exact details of uh, the things that we will be needing. We need garlic, need onion, vinegar, soy sauce, and I put quail eggs, chicken, bay leaves, pepper. So let's get started. Okay, so before I uh, show to you guys how I cook adobo, I was actually wondering like why, it, what's with adobo that everyone likes it. Um, one of my friends, she grew up in the States. Her father is a Filipino and her mother is a Mexican um, and when she visited Japan she requested um, uh, me to cook adobo and so um, like I said I'm not really sure what's with adobo that everyone likes it but uh, yeah this really quick so there you go. Okay cut the chicken so for the wings you can just like um, after you um, wash it just put it in a big uh, bowl just put it in there. Just cut it into bite sizes I guess I like the chicken skin though, but well, we can include that or you can have the option of not including that. Maybe about this size, like bite size, like this. Once your chicken is here, put soy sauce. Okay, so the soy sauce depends on how uh, how much your chicken is um, but right now I have a lot I'm cooking for at least a week my bowl is this big and so maybe about um, one cup I guess or let's say three fourth cup put in the bowl brown sugar maybe about uh, two maybe about three so this is what it looks like and we're gonna mix it using our hands Make sure your hands are clean. Okay, so my soy sauce is not enough. Um, so I'm gonna add one fourth cup of um, soy sauce to make it one cup. Make sure it's brown sugar. And mix it again. So I'm gonna fry the chicken and I'm preparing a baking plate here or something. Almost done, and the chicken doesn't have to be fully cooked, but just the outside. So the chicken is like this. Okay, so we're done with the chicken. On to the next step. Same pan. Saute your garlic and your onion. Okay, so once your um, garlic and onion softens, um, add the remaining soy sauce and, and add a little bit of water. Cover it and let it simmer for, I guess, two minutes. Mm. Okay, so I think I need a little bit uh, more sauce, so I'm going to be adding a little bit of soy sauce and a little bit of sugar and a little bit of water just to make sure that I have enough Okay, for so these. once your soy sauce and your mixture is simmering, add the bay leaves. Okay, so while waiting for your mixture to simmer, preheat your oven to 250. Okay, so once your mixture is simmering, add vinegar, not too much. So the amount of vinegar, it, de it depends on how much your soy sauce was, so half of that. So it is uh, simmering now. So what I did with my um, oven glassware is I didn't fill them all because we're gonna pour the mixture here and the reason I didn't fill them up so that the chicken uh, will suck the, um, the soy sauce or the mixture as we put it in the oven later. And make sure you have enough for three because I have three, three glasswares here. Just, uh, so you put everything there, put the mixture there. 
sure they're even. And, uh, and lastly, put the quail eggs. And oven is already set, and we're gonna bake it for So one fun fact, so adobo um, was originally from Spain and adobo comes from the Spanish word, I, I can't speak Spanish, but adobo comes from the Spanish word adobar, meaning to marinate. So like what we did a while ago, we marinated everything with soy sauce and, and uh, brown sugar and we're almost done.